It is my great honor to accept the Distinguished Alumna Award and the Outstanding Industry Partner Award on behalf of La Dames de Escoffier, New York. I started my professional culinary career while I was still a student at City Tech, which at the time was called New York City Community College. With all confidence, I can say that I wouldn't be where I am today without the education and support that I received from City Tech. When I enrolled in classes, I knew I loved food and baking and cooking and wanted to become a better cook, but I had no idea where my studies would lead. However, I did know that I needed to make a living. After two years of developing my skills at City Tech, it crystallized for me that I could pursue a career in an area that I loved. My first job as a part-time cook in a very tiny but chic restaurant on the Upper East Side, whose name I can't even remember at this time, came on the recommendation of one of my culinary professors. When I was finished with school and ready for the next step, I went back to the same professor and he became my mentor. On his advice, I began working in the World Trade Center at the Market Bar and Dining Rooms, which was a three-star restaurant at the time. My advice to you is to find a mentor. Having now been on the other side of the equation, I can tell you that your teachers and professors are most likely more than willing to offer guidance and support while you are still in school and after you leave, and their advice can be invaluable. Don't be afraid to approach someone and then make sure you listen to them, hear what they have to say. After six years as a working cook, I was ready for a change, for a job that was less physically demanding and more intellectually stimulating, but I didn't want to leave the culinary world. I landed a position as an appliance editor at Good Housekeeping magazine, primarily to develop recipes for the microwave oven. Now true confession, when I accepted this offer, I knew next to nothing about creating recipes or microwaving, but again, I trusted my instincts and just said Yes, I learned on the job and it was the beginning of a rich and rewarding career. I took advantage of every opportunity that was offered to me. At Good Housekeeping, I became a skilled writer and editor with a specialty in food appliances and a spokesperson for the magazine. While there are many experts in food, there are a few in appliances and I was able to develop an expertise that was unique and in demand. I tell you all this to encourage you to follow your own dreams. While you're a student or as you graduate, you may not have a clear idea what you want to do next. But without a doubt, if you're in the Department of Hospitality, you have an interest in wine or food or both, and also perhaps the restaurant and hotel industries. Give yourself the chance to explore the opportunities. Don't be afraid to take chances, to stretch your abilities, to try something a little bit offbeat. Don't say no because you're afraid. The one thing you will graduate with is a base of solid training. Have confidence in your skills and in your own good judgment. In view of my success, I was inducted into La Dames de Escoffier, New York, LDNY, an organization comprised of women with distinguished culinary careers. Its mission is to support and mentor other women, and it was a perfect fit for me at a stage in my career when I was already mentoring many young people and was passionate about giving back. One of the chief ways that LDNY fulfills its mission is by granting scholarships to deserving students who are at the beginning of their journeys. With great pride, we have been giving scholarships over many years to City Tech students. I'd like to close by wishing you all happiness and success, and I'd like you all to invite, I'd like to invite you all to reach out to me if I can help you in any way. Thank you.